Hi there, I'm back. Um, this is Nathan. So I'll start off by saying that this week was a really, really good week. Um, I had a lot of fun, except for well, highs and lows, of course. But um, some highlights, you might say. Um, Wednesday was Pi Day. If you don't know what Pi Day is, it's a day to celebrate the mathematical constant Pi. Uh, it's, that's done by making Pi. Um, and eating said pie. So Webb uh, had a pie day competition uh, where each class uh, makes a pie and then uh, the, they're then consumed and judged by the faculty. Um, and last year I didn't make a pie for our, like, like, so one pie for each class. Last year it wasn't me that made the pie because I was like, no, I don't want to make a pie this year. But this year, I decided I was going to make a pie. In fact, I decided I was going to make two pies um, and, and have a lot of fun with it. Um, so I made a pecan pie, because I'm a good old southerner. And I made a chocolate raspberry cream pie. Um, both ended up being semi-original recipes, because uh, the pecan pie, I altered it a little bit to put a lot more rum in it. And then... <laughs> The chocolate raspberry pie started from like a chocolate mousse pie, uh, and it was altered to add raspberry flavoring and all sorts of scrumptious. Uh, here's a, a photo of said pies. So aside from pies, um, I also learned that I hate my one class that I'm taking this semester. Um, I'm taking a programming class and it's just very difficult um, and it's tough because the professor is like teaching remotely so like it's like this I see him on a screen and instead of being there and for programming in particular it's been challenging um, especially considering that people in the class have various levels of skill and experience with the programming language and I happen to be on the lower end of things. It's okay though because one day I think I'll get it. I hope. And it's getting better. Maybe. Yes, I think so. Um, but, last news, biggest news, coolest news ever. Um, so, my first video I told you that I, there were a lot of projects that I was involved with. One happens to be the promotion of STEM education, uh, specifically through two means. One is a foundation that I helped start called the U.S. STEM Foundation. Go figure. Uh, which operates in Northern Virginia and is building a community center to promote academics uh, sort of the way you'd have like public athletic fields instead, an academic center. Um, and then the second is through U.S. First Robotics. Um, and basically what that is, it's a competition that I was involved in in high school and now I'm a mentor and I volunteer at local regionals. Um, but the moral of the story is my team, Team 1885, I Light Robotics, based out of Northern Virginia. Uh, I mentored them this winter for s eight weeks, and uh, they did a great job. The kids were great, they learned so much, and it was totally evident because this weekend, uh, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they competed at the Virginia Regional at Virginia Commonwealth University, or VCU, and they won actually they won two awards and I happen to be pretty proud because the two awards they won were two awards that I mentored them in one was the website award so go to www.ilightrobotics.org to see our winning website which uh, those kids that helped make that um, I worked with them the entire time and go them um, so I'm really proud of them uh, and just wait till next year when it's going to be way better, too. Uh, the second, and the even biggest, was we won the Regional Chairman's Award, which is the highest honor you can win. It doesn't actually have to do with the robot. Instead, it has to do with how much your team is doing to promote, first, robotics and engineering as a whole and changing the culture of the community. And uh, I helped mentor some of the students in how to do public speaking and business plans and being an all-around engineer, not just an engineer who can build a robot to accomplish just a goal. So we won chairmans, first time ever, best thing ever. Uh, two weeks time, they're going to compete at the Washington, D.C. regional. And the 
Best news, since we won re the Regional Chairman's Award, it means we get to go on to the World Championships to compete for the Chairman's Award globally. Now, if we win that, all of the students get to go meet the president, have like a special dinner with him uh, at the White House, and all sorts of exciting things. Plus, it's a huge honor for them and true representation of all their great accomplishments. So, way to go, Team 1885. And so apparently my videos are getting longer, um, which may be because more things are happening in a week for me, uh, and I guess I have an exciting life or something. But um, yeah, that's all I guess I have for this week. Next week should be an exciting update too, um, lots of school things I'm looking forward to. Um, 